<laughs> oh my goodness. Hey everybody, happy Saturday. Welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. I am Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. I hope you guys are all having an amazing Saturday. I know it's been kind of a crazy week, so it doesn't really even feel like a Saturday, but it's been nice. Um, as you are coming on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. If you are catching the replay, drop hashtag replay. And if you are new, welcome. Welcome to our keto kitchen. Mark loves to cook. I love to eat. It's a great duo. Um, we're really glad you guys are here. Drop new in the comments so we can connect with you. Also, make sure you guys are sharing this out. Sharing is caring. Share it to your page. Share it with your favorite keto group. Share it with your mom. Share it with everybody that you know. Sharing is caring. So I am going to go and do some sharing while Mark gets started. Thank you guys for saying hey as you are coming on. Okay, you can also check us out on YouTube, Team Terry Keto. Team Terry is one word with capital T's. Uh, you can see all of our, our uh, videos over there. Be sure and uh, check that out and, and subscribe to our channel so when we put new stuff in there, you'll know about it. If you're watching us on YouTube, come over and check us out on uh, Facebook. That's uh, Team, Team Terry Keto. So I'm going to make some stuffed bell peppers tonight. I, this is a little different recipe than uh, what I did uh, a while ago. And this one's, uh, I, I'm kind of excited about this one. It's got some bacon in it and uh, some mushrooms. And so we're going to, uh, we're going to heat up some uh, bacon here. You got a tablespoon of um, avocado oil. The recipe calls for olive oil, but we like avocado oil because it uh, is healthier for you. Um, it doesn't give any flavor to the food. It just kind of collects whatever flavor you're cooking. So um, that's going to be uh, that's going to taste just fine. So I'm going to uh, just fry this bacon up a little bit until it's crispy. I should have started this a little earlier, maybe. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mark sent you guys. Um, somebody just messaged that they can't find us on um, the YouTube. So if you want the link, just drop yes. YouTube in the comments. Yeah, we'll get you the link to get you straight there. Yes. <clears throat> yeah. Jumping on, be sure you're saying hello. Let us know where you're from. How's the weather in your part of the world today? We had beautiful, chilly, but beautiful clear skies. The golf course was loaded with people today. What's up, me? So, <laughs> but we did get out for a walk. That's we got kinda... out for a nice walk this afternoon, and uh, we may take another one before it gets dark. Yes. We'll see. It's really important, guys, to make sure you get out there and exercise. Yes, especially being shut in. I I uh, played golf yesterday. I, I wasn't going to. I was going to do some things around the house. And I've been home all week. I'm, I'm working from home now temporarily with all of this coronavirus going on, um, and we don't know how long that's going to be yet. But... Um, by Friday, yeah, I was getting a little stir crazy. I hadn't been out of the house since Monday. So I decided I'm going to go play some golf. Okay, that's, good. that's a good thing to do, you guys. you got to get out and get some fresh air and just and play your mind. Exercise is good. It's kind of nice. We, uh, we had some of our group that, that normally plays on Friday. Everybody kept their distance and, and observed their six feet around them, you know. And, um, it, it worked out really well. Everybody was very aware of what we need to do to stay healthy and it, uh, it worked out just fine for us. So this is uh, starting to cook up nicely. This, again, is uh, it's a, supposed to be a couple of uh, strips of bacon. Um, I took the bacon that we use for food prep. Uh, I already had it cooked in the refrigerator, so I just took that out. I chopped up uh, about three pieces of, uh, three slices of bacon. Um, so that I can just I can chop it up small in small uh, uh, pieces and then just fry it until it's crispy. That will keep it. Uh, that'll make it uh, a little bit easier if you do that um, with your food prep and stuff. Um, and we always have bacon in the refrigerator hey. all the time. Hey Tina. Hey Marie. Thank you for saying hello. Marie says that they are in a lot of snow. I'm like, okay, I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. It, no, you know, we had a pretty good storm come through. We got Last a lot of weekend. snow, yeah. um, but it's been beautiful today. And we're expecting another pretty good storm Monday. This week, yeah. So definitely. But it's all above us. We're only at 1,700 feet. So it, it's, it stays pretty much up above three or 4,000 feet most of the time. We get a little flurry now and then, but not much. 
Had to get out to get tires. No toilet paper here. Yeah, oh, that yeah. seems to be a thing, you guys. I'm not quite That's pretty sure. Pretty much but, everywhere. Yeah. You know, just ration. Um, definitely. Hey, guys, if you're getting value from this, if you can drop value in the comments, yes, hit absolutely. that love button and hit that share button. Share this out. We would really appreciate it. Okay. I eat your potato salad almost every day. Oh, oh thank you. It's we love it. I I just bought some radishes. We're gonna do another batch. That is a staple. Yeah, pretty quick, yeah. Throw it in your lunch. It's definitely a, a food prep thing because anything yes. you do, tri tip or whatever, it's great with. But yeah. thank you for saying that, you guys. If you're wanting that potato salad recipe, drop potato salad in the comments, and yes. we will get you um, tagged over in that live so you can watch it because that is. Uh, it's a game changer. Yes, it's really, really good. I like we it. really enjoy it. I like it better than regular potato salad. I yeah, really do. I, I do too. Yeah. I really do. Thank you guys it's for saying It's not nearly as heavy. Thank you, Sue Marie, for sharing. We really appreciate you. Yeah, you guys, if you are sharing this, please drop shared in the comments so we can um, give you a full name shout out. Okay, so I've got the bacon crispy. Um, I've taken it out of the pan, but I've left the bacon grease in the pan because now we're going to uh, saute some onions in it and the uh, mushrooms and get it, uh, get it ready to add the meat to it. Um, oh, God, just putting that in there smells wonderful. All right. Hey, Judy. This is a, a medium onion that I've cut up. And uh, it's, uh, it could probably be finer, but when my when it gets to the point where my eyes start watering, I'm done cutting. So... <laughs> Choice. That's Chef right. Choice. Yeah. So I've got that, and then I've got a dozen, well, a couple of dozen um, uh, white button top uh, mushrooms. And uh, we're going to put that in here and uh, just get them until they're soft. We don't need a whole lot of, of uh, they don't need to cook a whole lot. With the temperature up the way it is now, it's going to be real quick. Yeah. You'll, see the, you'll see the mushrooms. Um, Start to turn brown. Um, they are they are pretty white, so just mix that around a little bit. Get the onions in there and everything going. I think we probably also need to. I don't know, not yet. This is a great variation on the. Um, we did one with uh, bell peppers, stuffed yeah, bell peppers. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit different recipe. Last time we did it, we also did it with um, cauliflower rice, which you could substitute for the. Uh, the mushrooms, or you could add them to add the mushrooms and, and the uh, cauliflower rice as well. That may be one I try next time. Yes. Yeah, so um, somebody said we keep getting blurry. Sorry about that. We live up in the mountains, so our internet is a little bit sketchy. Yeah, the but camera just moving in and out. The camera does not uh, yeah, follow me as well. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Okay, we well, need to stand still. Hello. Sorry, uh -huh. you can't stand still. I know. Part. Susan said same thing, you keep getting blurry. Sorry about that, guys. We will try to, let me see if I can touch on it and get it to adjust. Okay. I, I don't so know if that helps at all, but we will see. Some ground beef here, and we'll get that in. And we're gonna mix all that up. So you guys, we have a group that has a ton of different recipes where you can have a bunch of different variations, especially like right now because we all are cooking at home, we're not eating out. Yes. And so you can almost just type things in and find all different recipes. If you're not in that group, drop group in the comments and we yes. will get you we'll get added in there. In there. there also, are thousands yeah. of recipes in there. Yeah, also if you're not following us, please follow us. Send us a friend request, tap on, I don't know, the screen, three dots up at the top and select follow. And um, that way you'll be notified whenever we go live and you'll have different recipes. Mark has been cooking all day because now he's kind of, like I said, we're home. And that's what everybody is, is home. And he loves to cook. So let's see, today we did English muffins and jelly. Yes. And the jelly is to die for, you guys. So yeah, um, I think uh, we could probably do that. We'll do that on a live here, maybe this week. Yeah, if you guys are wanting that English muffin and jelly oh my God. live, oh. um, yeah, drop, uh, I don't know, English muffin or jelly in the comments, and we will know that you guys are wanting that, because that's what we had today, this morning. Like I said, Mark is trying, uh, just cooking constantly, which is good. You guys have get all these good recipes. Um, Shannon, yes, we are live. If you can see that red box up in the... Left corner. Yes, corner. That means that we are live. So if you guys are watching us live, if you can just say hello, 
Let us know where you're watching from. And if you're catching the replay, draw hashtag replay. Okay, so I just dropped uh, a uh, couple of teaspoons of uh, paprika in here. And we'll get that all mixed in. The, the hamburger's just about brown. We're gonna add the bacon back in. And then we're gonna throw this into the, uh, we're gonna throw this into the um, bell pepper. Everybody so, wants the English muffin and jelly. I'm, we could probably uh, do that because it's like probably 10 minutes for the jelly yeah, and like and five minutes for the muffin. We can yeah, do that muffin, on the live. The muffin's just as quick as the uh, 90 second mug cakes. And it cakes. tastes like an English muffin. That's what, I was gonna put syrup on it because it tasted really good and I was like, I'm gonna put some sugar-free syrup on it. And I thought, no, I'm gonna eat it plain. And it did, it tasted just like an English muffin, you guys. It's really, really, really good. And I'm picky with my breads. So if I say it's good, it's good. Yeah, this one's this one uh, loves I'm her bread. So She's picky. Mr. Bread. Yes, I'm picky on breads. And if usually with almond flour, I don't like it. It's really harsh. But this one uses coconut flour. Ooh, and it is delicious. Oh, thank you for the love coming across the screen. We appreciate you guys. Yes, yes that uh, that jelly recipe is also very good for you because it's got chia seeds in it as well. I'll just give you guys a visual of the jelly while he's cooking. So this is the jelly that he made today. And doesn't that look delicious? Yes. So it has chia seeds and berries and oh, and it is just, it's amazing. You're gonna love it. So we will be bringing that to you. And like I said, Mark will be doing a lot more cooking because he's not commuting and he's home and it's just what he likes to do. Nancy Carr, thank you very much um, for sharing this. I really appreciate you. You are amazing. Okay, so I've got this ready to go. I'm just going to uh, take it out of here and put it into my bell peppers. My bell peppers, I've already got oil inside and out just to give them uh, oh, just a little Hey Nancy, thank you for saying hello. Hey Melissa, thank you for jumping on. Hey Millie, I see the English muffin and jelly. Yes, we will get that, you guys. I'm telling you, that was like, it's, it's bomb. If you have other ideas too of things that you guys are wanting, drop that in the comments because that way Mark can experiment. I mean, he hates whenever he has to like experiment and make new things. <laughs> All of us have our things that we do to keep us busy as we are not out doing normal things, but that's yeah. okay. Keep safe, stay inside, you guys. Get out and get your exercise, though. Go for a walk. Just keep your social distance. Yes. Oh, this looks delicious. Thank you for saying hello as you guys are coming on. We appreciate you. Also, make sure that you um, drop group in the comments if you are wanting to get into the recipe group. That way, you know, also in that group, they've got, um, they're doing like kids activities. And since we yes. can't go to the gym right now, a lot of, they're, a lot of people have their family, their kids yeah. at home yes, trying have, to keep their energy down because mm -hmm. they don't get to do the things they normally do at school. So we've got a post in there about kids activities. If you want to be tagged in that, put kids activities. And then we're also doing working, workout. Um, yes, workout videos. You keep okay. us, yes, workout videos for sure. And so, like I said, drop that in there if you guys are wanting in that group. I mean, recipes, workout videos, things to keep. It's just a wonderful family group. It's our keto group, and it's amazing. So drop a group in there if you are wanting in. Okay, so I've got these all filled. <laughs> they smell amazing. I'm not going to get in there. I'll get Now we're going to put them in the oven. Watch yourself. We're going to put these in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll be ready to eat. <laughs> there you yeah. go. Yum, yum, yum. So pretty easy, you guys. It's just a variation on, because he said he was going to do peppers. And I'm like, can we do something a little different? And he can always do something a little different. So the bacon is going to add the extra fat. Extra flavor, yeah. Well, fat flavor or, and fat that yeah. you need in your diet. Um, you can do it with cauliflower rice, but I think it's going to taste amazing with the mushrooms. Yes, the mushrooms will soak up a lot of that flavor, too. So yes, should be really good. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Okay, so and I'm, if you guys are wanting the YouTube link, make sure you drop YouTube. He's gonna be saying, if you're wanting the jelly and English muffin, oh, make yeah. sure that That's you are. Really, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, okay, I'm That's ready really to good. eat. I'm ready to eat. Oh, timer. Um, 
Make sure you guys are following us if you want that jelly and English muffin recipe. Touch my nose, three dots up at the top, select follow, or just send us a friend request because you are going to want to be notified whenever we do that. Like I said, he has so many different variations that you can do with this jelly and the English muffin is to die for you guys. I mean, I'm, I'm a bread snob, I really am. And so to find things like that is amazing. Beth, I will put the recipe for this up in the comments as soon as we get so off done. of here. So make sure you guys smash that share button for us and follow us. Have an amazing Saturday, rest of your Saturday. Get out and get some exercise, you guys. We can still go out and walk, yep. just keep your distance, but it's really important that we keep our health up by eating right and, and moving a little. Yep. Okay, so we love and appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Bye.